Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the probability of an event. An event is a collection of outcomes that satisfy a certain condition. For example, if I roll a die, it can land on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. I refer to this as a number of outcomes in the sample space. Another example, if, if I toss a coin, the possible outcome, if I toss a coin, it's either I get a head or a tail, such that if I have a head or a tail, the probability of getting a head, because I tossed the coin once, the probability of getting a head is I can only get ahead once, one out of the possible number of outcomes, that's head or tail, and that's two. In summary, the probability of an event is the number of outcomes in the event over the total number of outcomes in the sample space. Let's look at the following example for illustration. In the first example, we have a six-sided die is rolled. What is the probability that it lands on an even number? The number of outcome or the sample space, because it's a six-sided die, is going to be, I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. What it means is the coin can land on any of these numbers the outcome of the event of event is because we've been given that we need to find the probability that it lands on an even number. So therefore the outcome of the event will be the even numbers 2, 4 and 6. So therefore the probability P of the die landing on an even number is equal to the outcome of events divided by the total outcome of my sample space. So therefore, the probability P of even number equals the outcome of event to get an even number is 1, 2, and 3. So we have that as 3 out of the total number of possible sample space, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 3 over 6, and if I simplify, that will be 1 out of 2. What I did was divide my numerator and my denominator by 3. Let's look at a second example. I have a coin is tossed twice. What is the probability of getting adds twice? My sample space, space, if the coin is tossed twice, will be, if I have head on the first throw and head on the second, I can have head on the first and second, or tail on the second. I can have tail on the first and head on the second. And the last possible outcome could be tail on the first throw and tail on the second through the event the outcome of events they were looking for is to have adds twice and if you look at my outcome my sample space i can only get that once so what i'm looking for is for me to have add on the first throw and add on the second throw therefore the probability of having the head on the first throw and head on the second throw will be the outcome of events. I have that as one. I can only have that once out of a possible one, two, three, and four. That's my sample space. Thanks for watching. Bye.